Welcome back to Two Doctors Homestead. My name's Daniel, and I want to talk a little bit about gardening here today. We got some grow bags. I want to talk about grow bag gardening just to give you some ideas. We've expanded out our garden. Um, we have a large garden fenced out that we built up, and we thought, hey, we want to roll in some more melons, roll in some pumpkins. We got our potatoes going without having to lay out a new garden. So if you've never gardened before, you know, setting a garden bag, getting the soil right, takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of time to establish. So th we thought we'd play with the grow bags a little bit and we just sat them on the grass. And I think that is an idea for people that want to get into gardening, want to grow food, but don't necessarily have a permanent spot to build a garden. If you've got room, depending on the plant, for it to spread out that may not be ideal gardening spot I think we're showing you can actually grow a lot of food so our potatoes potatoes are going crazy in the grow bags this year I think we finally found the right spot they're taking off so in terms of how much food you can get you can get three to five pounds of potatoes per plant so each of those bags theoretically could have multiple plants and we've been working for a couple years to get better at growing potatoes but if you've never done it before start with a seed potato or if you don't have a special seed potato you know you're basically talking about chitted out bits of potato you put into the bag you want the proper soil conditions. We did a lot of peat this year and they seem to be doing pretty well, but you can get three to five pounds of potatoes for plant. So basically you're trading say half of a potato and the payoff is once it's done, it's three to five pounds of potatoes, which isn't huge calories wise. You're talking uh, five ounce of potatoes, 110 calories. So five pounds potato uh, is five pounds times 16 ounces divided by five gets you about 1700 calories so I mean it's not a huge amount of calories but if you want to start out you want to grow your own food expand out have some of those options but don't have a serious garden laid out definitely definitely recommend the bags right you can be you know I grew up in apartments lived in townhouses where you don't have huge yards to play with if you have a patio you could get these grow bags get a grow bag on it you want to fill it up with soil but there's a lot of things that are growing well in grow bags things like tomatoes in this case our biggest surprise you can see all the melon leaves back there I'm sure you can see them uh, we got some of the jumbo pumpkin seeds those pumpkins that will get up to a hundred pounds each and we put them in the grow bag so basically the grow bag is the plant and it's spreading out and I feel like we're gonna get some pretty serious pumpkins you already see the blooms coming in we're gonna get some pretty serious pumpkins there out of the grow bag so something like a pumpkin especially when we're talking about hundred pound pumpkins growing your squash as long as you have space around the grow bag for it to spread out even if it isn't a perfect garden whether it's just a lawn like this is just a grassy area we toss the grow bags in you can turn that in turn that into a garden start growing your own food um, these were all from seed right we just got the seeds filled the bag with soil got the seeds put it in there gave it time to grow obviously you want water you know uh, food and water but for plants the food is the Sun everything needs some kind of food and water so sunlight and water and that depends on the plants depends on the seeds um, you can start growing some of your own food if you've never done it before and I'd highly recommend it um, we've done a couple videos showing uh, not always the first harvest but it's that second harvest if you want to get more self-sufficient if you seed save you get that exponential growth right and a good example is the potatoes we could say half a potato gets you five pounds of potatoes but then if you take that five pounds of potatoes cut it into halves and you grow those each of those half potatoes could start a new plant could turn into five pounds of potatoes we did that with um, we did that with cucumbers I've done that with a couple different things we did that with tomatoes I can imagine on these pumpkins you know you get the back of pumpkin seeds it only has a handful of seeds in it you plant them we've got a ton of growth you start getting a couple hundred pound uh, pumpkins which said some of these are regular we've got squash I like squash we have different different things growing we got watermelons but you think about how many seeds are in a watermelon um, as long as you're getting the heritage that you know are going to grow back true 
you saved the seeds, now you went with one seed to 100 seeds or 200 seeds, and then that could get you 200 plants if you needed it. So it's keeping that cycle going, doing the seed saving, doing the planting, doing the work. No, it's not super exciting, but we're pretty, we're pretty excited about our new little garden area just because of the grow bags. We were kind of talking about that last year. We grew, or not last year, we didn't actually grow anything last year, or not much. Built the turkey coop last year, and that took up all the time. But the year before that on the garden, we went pretty big on the garden the year before that. We were growing a lot of pumpkins and watermelons and whatnot, but they take up a ton of space. So something we were thinking about was, well, what if we put them in the bags, try that, and you can just kind of place them around the property, place them around the yard, and they'll go out from there. And it seems like it's working. They said we're, we're pretty excited about that, pretty excited about the potential, wanted to share it. Because I think it's a good entry point. So the bags, I don't know if I said this bags was a six pack for $19.99. So I know everybody money's tight, but if you have $19.99 for the six pack of bags, if you want to go that route, they work out to about $3, $3.33 each for the bag. You will need soil. So whether you buy a bag of soil, whether you already have soil, whatever you got, um, it's about one to one, more or less. It's five gallon bags. So you got to do the math depending on the size of your bag of soil. But it was about one bag per, I think is what worked out. We did the peat on the potatoes and that was the peat, when you buy the peat, it's a giant block. So the math isn't gonna be perfect one to one. But I think it's great. I think it's great for people just getting into gardening. If you wanna expand your garden out, if you have room, but don't have plots laid out, right? You'd maybe you don't have perfect soil. It takes time, it takes time to develop your soil. You know, if you're doing lasagna technique or whatever you're doing, whether you're layering and fertilizing and getting rid of your clay, the grow bags sort of are a, a shortcut for all of that, right? You can have one little bag sitting there, the soil's exactly how you want it, and the plants will, plants will take off and be happy, and they're just living, they're living in the bag, and you can see it's not limiting. It's not limiting the, the pumpkins at all. I'm, so I'm super excited about the potatoes. We even have the little flowers on the potatoes so i'm hoping we do better on the potatoes this year than the last couple times we've tried it and ironically i think our first youtube video on this channel was how to grow potatoes so we're back right i'm back how to grow potatoes wasn't really the focus we just want to share share the container garden share the container gardening idea um so i think i think it's a good time to practice growing food, to think about how you might grow your own fruit, even in limited space. I mean, we're fortunate to have been able to get this property, have a lot of room, but I've grown up in places that didn't have a lot of room. And if you've got a small backyard, small deck, maybe you're not growing the pumpkins, but maybe you have room for a five gallon bag for some potatoes, for some tomatoes, cucumber, something like that. Just with the success we've had, I feel like there's a lot of things you can grow in the little bags. We water once a week, but it's been raining. It's been raining a ton out here, but throughout the summer, we'll probably keep it watered once a week. One advantage of the grow bags, since they are basically just canvas, I'll say canvas, they may not be made out of canvas bags, they'll, the water, it has better drainage, so it sort of simulates that well-drained soil. You don't, uh, you don't have to worry as much, so if you use more of, say, a bucket or a pot, drainage could be more of an issue. We were trying to grow kale a while back, and drainage ended up being an issue for the kale. When you're dealing with the bags, they're really not going to hold water. Right, so drainage is less of an easy issue. So I feel like it is, it's an easy start, I want to say. You know, if you're, if you're interested in getting in a garden, you haven't done a lot, it's certainly, it's an easy way to start. And, you know, we're just excited. Want to share want to share our little container garden here. I don't know if you can see them. We, we did the goji berries. Those are, those are behind me back there. Those will be interesting. It's our first time to try goji berries. Those are directly in the ground, but they're pretty, pretty hardy. We didn't want to just drop the melons directly in the ground. So this gives us the ability to move things around, right? Or when we're done, we just take the bags up and we said, hey, there we go. You know, next year we'll plant them again, right? So it's... Um, just having fun with it, having fun with gardening, trying to share ideas, especially if it's not something you've done before. You've been doing it for a lot of years, made plenty of mistakes, had plenty of failures, but this I feel like 
is a pretty good success and you can you can see that behind me so if you have any questions let me know always looking to share information and we do appreciate you appreciate you for watching so thank you